Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about database connection. Is Are we able to connect to a database or not? So I just did a few changes in our uh, Docker Compose. Just an indentation error. Uh, MySQL data it was underscore. So I fixed it. Now we are able to do Docker Compose up, Docker Compose build. Okay. And uh, updated the dependencies. We need a MySQL type ORM, NiceJS type ORM. All these modules we need for the application. And we will clean this up later. I mean, we don't need a Mongoose modules now. So we will uh, remove all these modules which we don't need in future. So now if we just see, this is our Node.js and uh, let's try to restart the Node.js container. We might get some errors. Let's see what all errors, possible errors we can see. Then we will try to fix them. So we have Docker Compose in the env variables. We have all the environment variables. These are being accessed from the config service. You can see config service should have the same variable names which we have defined in the .env. Post board dialect collect. Okay, just wait for a second. This database module we have injected in our app module by passing a single entity for now. But in future, we are going to have many entity like user, contact, comment, post. Okay, we are going to have the at least three different entities. Okay, now it should be coming up. So we are good. These are the, I just printed the config object what we have. And I think now we are able to connect to database. Otherwise, we would have got an error. So now, in this uh, post module, I'm accessing the post entity or contact entity. I will be able to access the contact repository or comment repository, use the user repository. So now we can see that our database connection is now succeeded. I will just push it. So I actually updated the code. And I'm pushing this particular branch. So this is, you can consider this as a baseline branch for your MySQL development. Okay. Now what we will do is we have these three different entities. Post, comment and user entity. So we'll create here. User.ts. Comment, contact, comment, post. Okay, now, so these are actually type ORM entities we are going to build. So type ORM entities, it will have a same class. So like we have a contact entity. So similarly, we can create the user entity. User will have some user fields. Export default class. Let's change it to a user and add the required field. Then later we will define the association ID, name, and here we can have primary column, name, You can have a name an email phone that is fine i think this this suits for the user entity also and now we have a post entity so in post entity here you will be writing a blog post okay that will have id uh, name and description We'll have a name description created at and that is fine so name title subtitle you can add these will not be a primary columns these will just a simple columns name title subtitle description post entity id will be a primary column okay this is our post entity now we can also have a comment entity And after creating these entities, we will actually create uh, database tables using type ORM sync utility. It will be a comment and we'll have a description only. So I mean user is commenting something, right? Now we'll define the relationship later. So we have created a, these three entities, user, post, and a comment. I mean these warnings will go away soon. user posts and contact we can remove 
Okay, now we can just import them in the root module which we have done for contact entity. So here, here will be a user. I mean, you can just read this folder and create an array. That is another way, but just to make it simple for now. This is command. So we can just pass them post entity. Okay, so th this is how we are bootstrapping the type ORM module using database module with all these entities. Now we can just write a four features in the nested in these feature module and we can access all these entities. Okay, that we will do in the next video. I will just push this particular code.